All right, guys, so I finally got the good news that um, I will be receiving my delivery tomorrow. Uh, I'm not gonna say what it is just yet, but over there you'll see my current battery shed. And in order to make room for what's coming, I need to get this solar array out of here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and tear that down now. So under here, these are in a 3S2P configuration. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through and snip all the zip ties and then pull off all the connectors first. And when I put this together originally, I just used some EMT conduit for the racks and just used some conduit clamps to mount to the solar panel. Unfortunately, these are Phillips head screws and this has been installed for quite a while. So I'm just hoping I can get those out without stripping out the screws. That wasn't too bad at all. Hopefully the rest go that easy. All right, so the first string on top is completely disconnected. Uh, all the screws came out perfectly fine. Uh, so at this point, I should be able to pull them right off. All right, and the last three came off easily as well. And now you can see why I put them center blocks down there because once they were released from the racking, they slid down and are now being supported by those center. And there's the original racking I used. Like I said, it was just EMT conduit with a few stakes driven in the ground. It did work well though. I never had any problem with wind or anything like that. All right, so the last thing I need to do then is just to remove, uh, there's just one screw on each one of these poles that attaches the conduit and I should be good to go. All right guys, here it is. It's a Charleston Marine 115A shipping container. It's roughly eight feet long by six and a half feet tall. And I think it's about four and a half to five feet wide. It weighs something like 1800 pounds empty. Uh, so it's got two doors on the front. Not sure how well you can see that because it is kind of dark, but uh, it is in great, fantastic condition. I don't see anywhere where it's leaking or anything like that. There's very little rust on it. There's no signs of moisture or water damage whatsoever on the insides. Uh, there is a dent in the floor a little bit there, but that's not a problem. And it's actually got two doors, so the other side has doors as well. There you can see the doors from the other side. I hadn't planned on it having doors on both sides. So there's the tear limit. That's the weight of the container empty is 1,764 pounds. And there's the maximum gross weight is 11,200 pounds. It's got very nice rubber seals on the doors. They don't even look like they're worn or anything. And this is a fairly old container. It's not like brand new or anything. So I see there's a sticker down here that says it was inspected in December of 2011. Uh, so it is at least 10 years old, might be a little more or less. So originally I was gonna put all the batteries along one wall and then put the inverter and stuff in the back. But uh, knowing this has doors at two ends opens up quite a bit of possibilities because now I can put a rack directly across the center and I can access the rack from both the front and the back, which means I can essentially double 
or 1.5 times the amount of batteries I can fit in here. So I do see there is a little bit of rust there up on the top. Uh, that's mostly just surface rust, the paint's peeling off. It's not like the steel's ruined or anything. And the same up here on the lift point. Uh, again, not bad at all. The condition of this is fantastic. So yeah, that's gonna be the project over the next few months. I have to figure out how to get this thing moved. I need to pull everything out of that battery shed, completely disassemble it, and then I'm gonna use as much wood as I can from that shed to frame the inside of this shed. Um, and then the end goal is to take this shed and push it back uh, where that one is currently sitting. Uh, we'll see how well that works. I have no idea how I'm gonna lift this. Um, I do have a floor jack I can use or a winch or I can even push it around with my truck if I have to. But yeah, that's, that's the big project. I'm super excited. Uh, uh, if you wanna see how it's gonna work out, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I will try to post as many updates and details as I can as I work through this. And yeah, thanks for watching.